Spyro Automata is probably one of the greatest games I've ever played. Everything from its storytelling to its snappy and stellar action gameplay, the absolutely beautiful music which intensifies the atmosphere, and all the details in between that really serve to make it a truly thick experience. And since I haven't done a video in my modding Final Fantasy series since, oh god, April of last year, it really has been a while. I really couldn't think of a better game to mod than one that helped define this generation of games, and showing you all some of the best mods that I found for the game. First and foremost, it's worth mentioning that while the PS4 version is fantastically polished, the PC version will need a few mods to provide some essential fixes. Of all of these mods, one that stands the most crucial by far is, well, far, also known as Fix Automata Resolution by a user named Caldian. When the game first launched on PC, you could literally only play this game in a native resolution of 720p or 1080p. While this is no longer the case, it's still recommended that you install FAR, as some other mods depend on it to work. It also allows adjusting global illumination for a performance boost, as well as adjusting the resolution of bloom and ambient occlusion effects to the current frame buffer resolution. It also includes a free cam, as well as a frame rate unlocker for those of you who want to experience the game at FPS above 60. FAR also allows for texture injection, which will be important going forward, wink wink. Once you have that set up, there are two other mods you'll want to use for optimum playability. One mod you'll want to get for those of you using a PlayStation 4 controller, aka a DualShock 4, the game only supports Xbox controllers natively, meaning you'll need to use a tool like DS4 Windows, which will allow you to use PS4 controllers. Although even if you do, you'll still be getting Xbox button prompts, so this is sort of a problem. That's why you'll want to use DS4 button prompts by Here We Go, which will replace all the Xbox button prompts with PlayStation icons. That way you won't be converting Xbox button inputs into your heads with a PlayStation controller. That said, this game is by far best played with a controller. However, if you are on PC and you're a purist and want to use a keyboard and mouse, you absolutely must use the Nier Automata Input Overhaul mod also known as Niome by Methan Hydrate. It aims to solve all the keyboard and mouse related issues in the game. Nier was primarily designed with a controller in mind and internally mapped keyboard and mouse inputs to gamepad controls, which causes a whole host of issues. This mod fixes a large number of these issues, allowing for things like raw mouse input without any acceleration or smoothing, and even an optional crosshair aiming mode for side scrolling and top down perspective, which can be pretty helpful to see where your cursor is. I still highly recommend playing this game with a controller, but for those PC purists using a keyboard and mouse, be sure to grab this one. Now that you have all the mods required to make the PC version of this game run efficiently, let's get down to business, making the game look prettier. Above all else, this is the mod I believe raises the quality above the PS4 versions. Nier Automata is an absolutely beautiful game in terms of art style, and one that can't be haphazardly tampered with without ruining the bleak nature of the world, but sometimes you'll come across textures that look straight out of a Nintendo 64 game. Texture Pack version 0.75 by GP Unity is the ideal solution to this. To use this mod, you'll need the far mod mentioned earlier to inject textures, and trust me, you'll want to do it. This fixes many of the textures with low quality assets in the game. For example, just take a look at this before and after, and it should tell you everything you need to know about this mod. After you've improved the game's textures, there's still a way to take the graphics another step forward. Reshading mods. Now there's a lot of great reshading mods out there and this mostly boils down to personal preference, but after looking at all of the screenshots, the one that I personally prefer is the clean reshade preset, created by user ChaserJZX, as it preserves the original intention of the game's bleak, post-apocalyptic art style, while making the game's art a bit more vivid. Warmer colors feel more warm and cooler shades feel more icy. Though overall, I recommend checking out the other reshade mods available and deciding which one works best for you. However, I have to say the clean reshade preset was definitely the one for me. You may also want to use a mod called Band Disney. In areas like the desert, you may notice a very ugly, weird looking layered gradient coming directly from the sun. This mod helps take care of that through the use of reshading and makes this a much more smoother gradient. You may also notice that 
that My2B has slightly sharper textures than normal. This is the result of using the 2 Butterfly Retexture by Petrarsa, which makes 2B's textures significantly sharper than they've ever been before. And honestly, this mod makes 2B look absolutely fantastic. I highly recommend using it. The only downside to using it is that, to my knowledge, there's no version for 9S, making her slightly higher resolution than him. If that doesn't bother you, then use this mod. And now time for some mods that I didn't personally use but deserve a mention for those who would be interested. 2B Hook is a mod by username Martin that allows you to totally break the game. Got mode, no fall damage, no enemy damage, level manipulation, enemy rebalancing. You can even do things like scale and manipulate the models. If you want to make this game a complete sandbox, it's totally worth checking out. There's also NA Partial Level of Detail Fix by Petrarsa, which aims to fix some of the level of details and pop-in issues in the game. I didn't get a chance to try this one out yet, but it should be pretty handy as some of the level of detail pop-ins can be pretty distracting. Last but certainly not least, the model replacement mods for 2B, 9S, and A2 by username XXK underscore, allowing you to swap their model with any other characters in the game, which is pretty fun for second playthroughs where you're just casually enjoying the game. With all that said, Ultima Weapons, will you be modding near Automata on PC, knowing some of these mods now? And what kind of mods would you like to see for this game in the future? Subscribe, click the bell icon, and let me know in the comments below. And if you value the content on this channel, be sure to check out the Patreon for the Night Sky Prince. Thanks to incredible people like Kyle Edwards, I'm able to keep making all of these Final Fantasy, Nier, and other Square Enix related videos for you guys. So if you'd like to support the channel directly, there's a link in the description below. Shout out to Kyle and the rest of the Ultima community.